Hi, I'm Maddie, and we're going to be drawing today. It has taken me many attempts to do this drawing, and it's not that easy when you think of it, but you'll still drive. So, look at this. So all these attempts have done. Yeah, it's a lot of attempts, so let's get to it. Before you draw, I enjoy to stretch because you warm up your bones. So first, you just if you hear the crack, come on. Face up your bones so you can draw better. So, now I'm going to make your paper. Okay. You got your paper. Then, depends on what way you want to do it. This way or this way? I draw this way because I find it better. So, on the bottom, you're going to write your name by whatever your name is. And right by my name, Maddie. C. By Maddie. So, you're going to shake up your Sharpie. Of course, your materials, your paper, Sharpie, your lead pencil, and this. I'm going to see why you're going to need the lead pencil. So, you draw a bunny girl, basically. Oh. Uh, one more important material that I almost forgot, and then I'll be so mad. The magical crayon. And what you're going to do with the magical crayon is... You're just going to color over your words with it. See? You can't see it. So now, let's get to the drawing. You're going to draw a bunny girl today with me. So. I'm going to draw, obviously, the ears. Then. And then you draw a little bow. I want it to be a big bow. So, let's just... So, back. You're gonna draw nail polish. So, this here. Um, you're gonna write by whatever your name is, so it's just a revised. Right, you're over your name is, and you're gonna draw your little nail polish, which is first you're gonna draw a rectangle in pencil, then a square under it, and then the name of the brand you have. Mine nail polish is Essie, and I'll show it to you right now. Actually, answer no, but I prefer the brand SC. See? And it polish. So now you're just gonna to make this tone my favorite one, I know it. You're gonna get your magical crayon and just color the square only. Just the square. Only the square. Then you want to give your drawing a shadow. So here's the shadow so far. Then you just like scratch it down. Yeah. And then I'm just 
gonna try to see him. Shadow. As long as you are, you always want shadow. When you're cut out, you're just not gonna need to shadow. So, you're gonna want to do this. Get, uh, like, like a yellow and color the lid since white won't show on white. To mimic the lid. See? The white lid. You're gonna have to get a light color like yellow or like brown or black. From what I saw in my box, I do not have a yellow, so you need colored pencil by way. You get a green hand color really light. This one smells so good. This one is color scented pencil from SpongeBob. This is Plankton. Smells pretty good, so just gonna put it in a little light. Even if it didn't come out, like, still gonna be nice. So now you're just gonna cut it out. I know I told you to do this in it, but it won't matter because you're gonna put it out. You're cutting with a A 13 inch scissor. Cut with um, any scissor, but I prefer the 13 inches. And it depends on what age you are. If you're 10, like me, what would happen is you are going to need these but like if you're a four four to six year old you're gonna have to use the baby school scissors so see your nail polish now you put it in the group of your drawings hey